In this video, I'm going to be explaining what on earth this creature is. I have a page on Facebook called Pond Man, and of course I have this Pond Lab channel. And I also have lots of friends who work in the environmental sector, in education and ecologists and stuff like that. And when they, or a member of the public who's found my page, finds a weird pond creature, quite often they'll send it to me and ask me what it is. And one of the most popular thing, things sent to me is this weird like jelly thing that seems to have a tongue that shoots out. Now I have to admit, when I first found this about 10, 15 years ago, even I was baffled at what it was. I was convinced it was some sort of weird hydrozoan or, or one of these niche groups of animals that I'm not really familiar with. I thought it was some kind of weird creature with a jelly-like body and a tongue or tentacle that would shoot out. But my boss at the time said, I'm pretty sure it's a midge larva. So I put one in one of my photographic aquariums and got this shot. And you can clearly see it's a type of chironomid midge. So the bit I thought was a tongue or a tentacle is actually the midge's body. And that jelly body is actually the case it's made out of algae. Most people that do any sort of pond dipping or fish keeping might know blood worms, and these are a type of chironomid midge too. They have a high level of haemoglobin in their blood, so they can live in anoxic conditions. In fact, there are over 400 species of these non-biting chironomid midges in the UK, but they're typically very hard to identify and require dissection under the microscope. But there is only one species that builds a case out of algae, and that is this one. Lorta bonelia agroloides. That's probably not how you pronounce it, but Latin is not a strong point of mine. It doesn't have an official common name, but I sometimes refer to it as the algae-cased chironomid midge larva. I typically find them in ponds that have got a big clump of blanket weed in, which of course normally people don't really want in their ponds, but this is one of the benefits of having it. You can find this really cool midge larva. A number of species of chironomid midge build cases, or tubes, in and above the substrate, but most of these are fixed into one place. But a few species like this one have copied the caddisfly larva and have mobile cases they can move around with them. The chironomid larvae, just like the caddisfly larvae, use silk in the construction of their cases. In fact, the larvae of chironomid midges are being studied as a possible alternative of silk to the current source, which is the silkworm moth caterpillars. So next time you're clearing out some blanket weed and find this weird looking beastie, you know what it is. Thanks for watching. 